How come it's not going on? <laughs> it's going on now. It's going on now. It cut um, off on me again, guys. 13. I'm going to get me a tablet. Number 13. We have... It is a... Fit How come you got two 13s? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got two bags of 13s. And we're going to leave it like that because well, 13, all my other a, 13, bags will be B. all screwed up. 13, yeah, 13A. 13 13B, 13 yeah. 13A. Put I'm just starting this, guys, and I was trying to hurry because I wanted to get this up tonight for you guys. I know you've all been asking me, did I get more? Did I get more? Did you just put both in 13A? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm losing it. Hello, wake up. <laughs> okay. Vintage triple twisted mother of pearl bracelet. Mother of pearl. What? It is Mother of Pearl. I know. It's just like your mother. Oh, Mother. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that's what that one looks like. How pretty is that? It is gorgeous. Look at the shine. For that one, I would like 12. Then I have this beautiful one. That's another vintage B. one. This is 13B. And this is the black beads with the nice gold. Just gorgeous. God, I love vintage jewelry. They don't make them like they used to now. Oh, they? no. When you clean them and you see, yeah. like when you clean them and you see there's tarnish and that tarnish comes off in a second, you know that's good jewelry. Go yeah. vintage jewelry. Okay. They, they took more time for it, you know? Okay, now I have... Oh, here's a gorgeous piece. I love this piece, you guys. <laughs> I don't know if I want to sell it. I knew that that was a new piece. I was yeah. going to say today, you're wearing something It new. is soft. I usually can't wear anything up high like this on my neck. You don't even feel like it's on. It, it, I just can't, I can't explain it. Anyway, it's got the real old clasp at the back. I love it. And this is my new ring I got, you guys. I am... I... <laughs> we're just looking at all I the jewelry she didn't see it yet. yet anyway i bought this ring thanks to you guys for um buying stuff from me i was able to get i love amber and i was able to get a ring um it wasn't that expensive it was on ebay and it was from an estate sale i'm a little bit upset though because i took a really good look with my um my uh, jewel uh jeweler's um loop and I noticed that there's a piece here in the corner that had broken off and they had glued it back. So I'm a little disappointed because that wasn't on, um, wasn't mentioned to me when I bought it. But anyway, okay, number 14 is a vintage rhinestone necklace and this thing is to die for. Bridget won't give it to I'll me. die for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. This is absolutely stunning. Lift it up. Okay, and this isn't one that you can go into let's say our Danes or something like that and just, you know, pick it up and it's a cheap one and it looks gorgeous because it's just shiny. This is, you can tell this is vintage. Look at how beautiful this is. It's a chandelier rhinestone necklace. It is gorgeous. The, um, if you look really good and I, I took my, my eyepiece and I looked really good because I wanted to see how well the stones were set in there and each one is set in a, um, they're faceted. And if you can see that, you see how they're faceted? They've got the prongs, the four prongs around them. Put it against your shirt there. And you see. also have, uh, you can put the different lengths on here if you want. Look it against your shirt. Oh God, I want it. <laughs> I look at that. You look so rich. Look how beautiful that is. Wow. It just sparked. Yeah. Cha ching! Why don't you keep in that one? I'm not. I can't keep everything. I know what that is. Already. Anyway, this one, guys. Anyway. <laughs> she's trying to convince me to buy my own jewelry. Um, for this one, I want thirty because it is a beautiful piece, and it's really hard to find those rhinestones all together and not um, aged like the darkness. You know, some of, some of the rhinestones get darkened over time. It's I'm surprised that piece isn't marked. I'm still in there. Okay. The rhinestone's still Silver in there. Silver spike earrings. You're going to like some of these, girls. I really got some good buys today, like stuff that's different. Everything's different. These are vintage, again. Bag 11. Uh, oh, sorry, it's bag 16. And, oh, the rhinestone necklace, if I didn't tell you, was bag 14. I don't need the bag. I need the earring, you goof. <laughs> sorry, I'm just stunned this, by the necklace. She's still stunned by the necklace, anyhow. 
Um, how come this is... Okay, they got to kind of move over to this side. Okay, this is what these look like. They are vintage, and again, I cleaned them up, and I brought them back to life. And that's what they look like. And I'm going to show you, that's not, it's not a cheap metal. I'm going to show you the back. That's a beautiful metal. Anything you don't like, you know you guys, you send back to me. I'm going to be honest with you. I always am. Um, just like the, the Trafari, or not Trafari, the Tiffany bracelet. Um, I had told you I sold it to someone, and her and I um, investigated because I wanted to make sure it was, and it wasn't. It was a replica. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie and say yeah it is one, and uh, you know the, because you when you look at the um, what do you call it the links in a in a, a Tiffany bracelet they are. Um, soft and you can't even see them. They, they've filed that, they've put the gold over it. It looks like there is no end to the link. With this one that I had, you could see where the link connected. You could see that it wasn't filed down, that it was like rough. No, it's not. It was, it was, it was definitely a replica, but it was a nice replica. So, I mean, uh, and it was sterling silver. So when I picked it up, I didn't even think of Tiffany. I just picked it up because it was a sterling silver necklace when it had a little heart on it. And I love sterling, so I picked it up. And that's the story to that. What's number 17? This is a ram. Yeah. I'm a ram for Aries. Yeah, so is, um, so is Melissa. <laughs> Melissa, you're a ram. Um, this is a vintage necklace. It's got the twist, okay? And again, I cleaned him up. And that's what he looks like. That's a vintage, and it's it's got the silver and then the ram at the top. This is what the back looks like. It's very, very well made, and he moves on there. It moves. So it's very comfortable to wear. And this was a really good the sign, find. The, the sign yeah, the, the sign ram. shows the ram, the ram heart, uh, horns. And that was number 17. And for him, I want 25, please. Um, okay, number 18, Bridge. Yeah, done. Oh, okay, okay, no. I know I ran out of bags. Oh. Gold and silver leaf bib necklace. Okay, this is beautiful too. This is a gold and silver. This is a bib necklace. And I got an earring stuck on there. Hang on. This will probably have to be three parts because I know it's going to stop at 20, 15 minutes. Okay. This is the, I'll turn it this way, this is the uh, shepherd's clasp, okay, and you can put it to whatever length you want, and this is what that looks like. Look how beautiful that is, I'm going to put the light on it. That's the it's silver leaves, they almost look white, they're so silver. And that's what that one looks like. And for that one, I'd like 25. Okay, um, that's number 18. I have to get more bags and number them. Number 19 is a vintage gold tone and pearl bib necklace. Uh, where's that one? You have another bib? Did you call this one a bib? Yeah. Necklace? Oh, I'm sorry, it was that one. Number 19 was oh, a vintage so gold tone and pearl. Oh, I know which one that is. That's this one. Okay. And this one's very old, and you can tell just by looking at that. Look at this. And these are the original beads that went with this. Can you see that really good? I want you to see the detail. Okay, and this is what the back looks like. And then this is the length of the chain. I would say 24. Steve, what comes after the 24 inch chain? 26. 26? Probably, okay. but I never sold. Well, I made my own. Okay, anyway, I would say this is a 26. Anyway, it's very cute. 
So, this one I wanted uh, 20. Okay, so um, number 20. This is gorgeous, you guys. Um, I'm losing my son. Let me turn a little bit here. Okay, this, okay, I cleaned this up. And again, like I told you, if this was not vintage, this would not have cleaned up. This is what the clasp looks like. And look how beautifully this cleaned up. Can you see that? I worked hard to clean it, but it was beautiful. Again, because these pieces are old. That's gold, isn't it? Yeah, it's gold. I said old. Oh. And with it are the earrings. And there's the gold earrings. And I'm telling you guys, this is made so well. Look. Look at the links. There are hardly any. You can't hardly even see. They've, they've gone over that. You see what I mean? With the links? Each link? You can barely see that. And that's what that one looks like. And for this set, you guys, I wanted 40. It's beautiful. Okay, number uh, 21 is vintage gold tone flower earrings. Oh my god, these are beautiful. And again, I cleaned these and they just came gorgeous. Look at those. They're beautiful little flowers. And the, they almost look real gold. I, I looked all over them because I thought for sure they were real gold. That's how beautiful the gold is on them. After I cleaned them up. Oh my goodness. And for those I wanted uh, 12. Okay. 22. Number 22. Vintage Christmas cat pin. And he is adorable. Look at him. That light. That's what he looks like. And all this in here is not paint. You're not going to lose that. Like most bro brooches crappy brooches. That's all enamel in there. The red, the green, this will not come off. You won't lose that. This is a vintage pin. This is what the back looks like and I thought there was a marking in there but there's a symbol so I guess there is a marking. That's what he looks like. And I wanted 20 for him. Okay and then 